Hi guys, you're here with Barry, and after uh, five day, full days, I guess, <laughs> yeah. you're here with uh, a fellow I've known for quite some time, Juan, and uh, Juan's known old Barry in DR for about how long would you say? I'd say a good six, a minimum six, seven years, I mean, it's from the beginning of DR Escapes and all throughout uh, the transition so, yeah, and everything. Yeah, at least at least seven years. I mean, you were, were I was there at the beginning. And we we got a hold of each other about five five, five, five for, years just ago. for a lunch or a hello or yeah yeah uh, I came I came down uh, basically a surprise visit if you will unexpected unannounced and uh, uh, showed up in Carrera because I went to meet Barry and uh, uh, see uh, if the hype was real and <laughs> <laughs> honestly. And and as it turns out, it's uh, it, five it, five five days later. Is it real? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it's it's the real deal. Uh, you you are pleasantly surprised, and and not and not don't mean necessarily surprised that uh, that what is happening is true. It's just that you never really think that uh, 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 things could be as good as somebody else tells you that they are. And and in reality, it turns out to be this is a really great place to be. Uh, the, the well, experience this has is been the, the, this is slightly different even for me. Now, you were born in Santo Domingo. Yes, I was. Okay, so give me a little background. Give the folks out in, in the YouTube land, give them a little bit of background about yourself. Oh, uh, um, born uh, at the beginning of the uh, uh, of the 60s uh, uh, to a lovely uh, uh, set of parents. Providencia and Jose, and uh, uh, they recently uh, passed on, uh, God rest their souls. They were wonderful parents. Uh, but early on, uh, my, my father, uh, who was uh, Dominican by birth and, 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 and whatnot, but his father was Puerto Rican. He uh, um, uh, emigrated uh, early on to the States, and uh, uh, by the early 70s, uh, 1971, we had uh, emigrated to, the, uh, to, the, to, to New York, the New York area, and uh, uh, as they say, the rest is history. We've spent all of our lives in the States. And uh, over the last 30 years or so, just give or take, a, actually not give or take, just a little uh, a little under under 30 years, uh, I've been living in Florida, in the central Florida area, which is home. And it's beautiful and it's great, but it's not the same as Cabrera. I can assure you of that. Well, you being a little bit more of the uh, eyes open kind of person, I mean, have you been... What in it, what essentially drew you to old Barry and DR? Was it uh, my 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 thoughts on how things are progressing? Was it just to come out and meet me? Was it to see uh, parts of the country you haven't seen? What was it that 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 made you adhere to to uh, what I've been saying for so long? Well, in in reality, uh, when I bumped into uh, DR Escapes, I I had already I I guess you could say started to awaken uh, a good. Uh, Five ten years earlier, because I had seen where where things were heading, and uh, I had seen the uh, the the precipitous drop in 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 standard and in freedom and in and in and in basic uh, happiness uh, in in quote the Western world. But to me, the Western world is America. Uh, I love America. I was raised there. I lived there all of my life. I I, I wouldn't have traded it for anything. But unfortunately. Uh, uh, since 2001, let's be let's be real. Since 2001, things have uh, have not been what they should have been, and definitely not what the uh, leadership and the politicians tell us it is. It's 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 not the real truth. They are they are they are hiding you know uh, uh, reality from us, and 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 I had I've had enough. I I knew when I saw when I when you hear truth, you recognize it. If you are awake, that's uh, belligerent, though, isn't it? It, it is. Does, it, it does get a lot of people upset. It is. A, it, it is an extraordinarily hostile uh, um, um, uh, approach uh, um, to, uh, to to basically tell someone the truth when they are not necessarily waiting or ready for it. Mm -hmm. uh, truth is is extraordinarily belligerent and is not to be. Uh, um, uh, 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 taken up lightly you should know who you speak with uh because most people are not ready for truth truth is a, is a is a very dangerous thing in our world anymore mm. um, it's uh, it's 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 quite it's quite a uh, uh quite a sad statement of affairs when you when you realize that uh we're supposed to be a free people but uh are we really well, do you have difficulty even with your friends talking about it? People that know who you are, and like, no, no as a friend, not a, not an acquaintance. Do you have difficulty even expressing it to them? Well, actually, 
yes and no. I, I, I find myself that I don't have necessarily difficulty telling them. I have, I have difficulty with them following me and wanting to hear it. Uh, and after a while, you kind of like give up and you stop trying because people see you coming and, you know, you're like that person that, oh, my God, he's showing up. Why would you even want to sh invite him to anything that you're doing? Because he's just going to talk about the same old thing and mm. we're tired of hearing it. And, you know, and after a while, it gets it gets old and I understand that. So I just basically stop. Uh, actually, I haven't necessarily stopped, but I really, really slow down Slows. and reduce my my uh, my um, exchanges with individuals unless I know for a fact that they they can follow and are interested in the things that I know are real uh, you know just to each his own let them you know you want to live in ignorance uh, you know eventually uh, uh, just because you don't know uh, uh, about something that doesn't mean that that something is not necessarily untrue and when it does happen when reality does hit you in the face you're going to know that uh, Everything that you heard was true, and, and it's upon us. It is here. So you, you came down here on a visit and wanted to get together with Johnny, me, and tonight we're going out with Leanne for dinner, too, and uh, tomorrow I'll be heading them a little further down the road just to continue on on their stay. But this this trip, was this trip to rewake you in terms of the diversity of the country or was it to bring the family down and, and, and enlighten them a little bit as to the changes of lifestyle or or what, what was your main purpose on this? Well, well in, in reality this is actually twofold. Um, yes, it's, it's a vacation. Um, um, I, my family needed to uh, uh, or actually wanted to uh, see uh, the island and, and experience uh, uh, what I keep talking to them about. But at the same time, it was an opportunity to uh, not just vacation and enjoy, but to let them see what it is exactly this place has to offer that. Uh, I'm not saying it's the only place in the world that has it, but, but it's really close by and you can't really uh, 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 say that it's not... Uh, um, how can I put it, that it's not necessarily true that this place is for real. This is a, like you like to say on a regular basis, this is Mayberry with Internet, and trust <laughs> me, people, this is really, this truly is, uh, it is It is an anomaly. It is, it is truly an anachronism uh, because uh, I was raised in an environment such as this, but it's really in the capital, but it was actually only 50 years ago. The capital was like this, but it is no longer. Mm -hmm. Things have changed to such a point that uh, it is unfortunately, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the passage of time has changed the people, have changed, uh, their attitudes have changed, and, uh, and, and, and in reality, uh, life is not what it used to be. Uh, and, and, and it is really a blessing to find a place like this where you can uh, kind of like transport yourself back 20, 30, 40 years ago to, to, to a more simpler, more enjoyable less not just hectic but less dangerous environment less dangerous place where people are actually decent to each other where people spoke to each other where people looked at each other in the eye which is not necessarily very common anymore yeah and, i, I and, noticed and, that <laughs> and, and especially uh, you know i'm sorry to say north america people 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 have no time for each other, you know. People, you say hello to somebody and they look at you strange. Here, everybody's always saying hello, and trust me, it is true. You look everywhere you go, people are waving at you. People are saying hello. People are engaging. Now, do you feel this is because you're fluent in Spanish? Oh or? no, no, no. Because pe most people actually really don't know that I speak Spanish. People actually, most people assume that because I'm hanging out with you and they hear me speaking with you, they actually assume that uh, I'm not necessarily Dominican. But uh, yeah, I am Dominican. Uh, when they realize that I am Dominican, they're kind of like supply, surprised pretty much. But uh, for the most part, they, they initially don't, they don't know that I'm, I'm, I'm Spanish speaking and that uh, I actually speak Spanish as well as, as I speak English. And uh, it, it, it's, it's an un... Uh, it, how can I, it, it's a it's an it's a it's an unusual thing for a Dominican uh, uh, to to speak the language in such a way and still be able to to retain the knowledge of the language because I've been gone for fifty years almost. I I left here I was a baby now actually not a baby but I was a kid and and most people when they leave the uh, the their homeland. Uh, for whatever nation they go to, for 40, 50 years after that long of a period of time, they actually tend to forget 
their their traditions where they came from how how to speak how the how the 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 culture develops and how the the culture actually works you're not using a lot of spanish in florida no not at all really no no not in the orlando area i mean there are there are lots of hispanics but uh, um, un unfortunately my wife is anglo We've been married for uh, for uh, over 22. 20, uh, 22 years. 22. Going so on, I remember, yeah, I remember. I remember. Yeah. I'll save your ass. I, on thank this you. One. <laughs> yeah, my, my my wife uh, uh, will. I'm sure will uh, let me know later on that I keep forgetting that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, 22 years. But nonetheless, we've been together for 30. We have a we have a, a, a wonderful uh, son, uh, my pride and joy. Um, but um, no, unfortunately, in our in our part of town, even though there are plenty of uh, of Spanish speaking people. You don't necessarily get uh, get involved because I am not necessarily out in the middle of 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 of, of, a, of a predominantly dominant uh, Spanish uh, speaking area. It is predominantly you know dominantly okay. Anglo area. Okay. There are Hispanics, but but not not as many as as as. I assume maybe in business and stuff you would have. Well, no, what... yeah, we do come across on a regular basis. So I do speak Spanish in in in, in Orlando, which is where I live. Uh, there's plenty plenty of people that speak Spanish. It's just that unfortunately my household is 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 ninety nine percent Spanish speak. I mean English speaking, because my wife doesn't speak uh, Spanish and more, my not son. Yet. Not yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, yet, we're, yet's we're working a on that. Word. We're working on that. Yeah. Uh, but and my son has not, unfortunately, to my to my shame, I haven't I haven't uh, followed up in teaching him how to speak the language, how to how to interact with uh, with other Hispanic uh, uh, boys because uh, uh, even the Hispanic boys that he does know uh, in the states, uh, they're all basically English speakers. I see. Uh, I see. So uh, it, it's it's not as uh, even though it's a very common language in the states, it's not necessarily prevalent in my area or in my neighborhood and and and, and we're creatures of of of, of habit, habit we we, yeah. we, we like we like where we where we uh where we live and we don't necessarily venture far other than than you know when we need to go places we we go where we need to go but we like we like home you know we like staying home and mm -hmm. and, and and home is where the heart is and, and my heart is my family well round in the corner here round in third and heading for home would you say for your family and yourself uh the last five days met your expectations, exceeded it, uh, left you a little short-tailed on it. Let, what, what do you think? Let, let me let me just say it in a more succinct way. It did not disappoint. It it it, it was uh, all that I expected plus. Um, uh, I know um, that uh, some might think, yeah, but he's Dominican. He knows what he's getting into. He knows the area. He knows the lay of the land. Yes, I do. I know, I know the people. I can, I can, I feel comfortable around them. Uh, but trust me, people, this is not just for Dominicans. Dominicans are a very uh, uh, inviting, very courteous, very hospitable people. We we love to interact with other with other cultures, and so much so that we are a very mixed people. We are we are we are not pure blooded. We are not specifically of one. Uh, a racial strain. We are a, we are a mestizo people. We are a mixed people, and we welcome all. And we like to engage all because we are curious about who all is interested in our in our in our piece of, uh, of paradise. Because I got a question for you. Talk to because me because you're <laughs> Dominican. How would you say Johnny and I fit in? You think we're well versed in the community in the country? They're more Dominican than I am. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the the local the local from your perspective though. The, uh, no uh, no seriously uh, even though that that was a little uh, you know uh, humor's uh, always humor, good bro yeah. humor's uh, good bro uh, the uh, the local the local uh, population and, and, and don't misunderstand Cabrera is not a one horse town. Most people might think that this is a a podunk little town where you know where there's one one uh, one traffic light and you know you're in and out in two minutes. No, it's a it's a it's not a large city, but it's a sizable town. Well, we got two traffic lights, but one doesn't work. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so that, so I, I again not just one traffic light, uh, but no, there's there's a lot of people and I uh, and and I'm 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 surprised to to see how so many people. At all levels of, of the of the economy and our, at all social levels and 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 whatnot, know you and 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 just basically uh, seek you out. Uh, it is it is really very very reassuring, very pleasing to know that uh, uh, you have uh, 
basically been adopted and you you've adopted this place but they've adopted you and you are you are one of the peoples you are you are one of us um so uh i i i am i am very very pleasantly surprised and very very gratified to know that uh, my people have not disappointed that they are as welcoming as i always knew that they were that mm -hmm. they are as inviting and as warm and as and as and as friendly as I know that 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 they are. Even though you know some of us are not necessarily you know uh, uh, in on the up and up because it happens in every society. Every every, every, society, every nation, every yeah, society. Not 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 everybody is a saint and not everybody is a sinner. However, it, I will tell you that in the in the municipality, if you will, of of Cabrera, the vast majority of the people are the salt of the earth. These people are are extraordinarily courteous, uh, very service minded, mm -hmm. very very unselfish. They they will they a lot of them don't have much, and they are more than willing to give you the shirt off their back. I I, I, I it comes to mind. I, I've been staying here at the villa for the last four or five four days, five almost five. You liked your uh, accommodations. Uh, were... Accommodations were wonderful. It is it is. An, by the way. It is an extraordinarily beautiful, gorgeous view. Uh, I am, I am smitten. <laughs> this, this definitely cemented my my uh, my thoughts and cemented my my decision that this is the place that I want to be. Because if you people, not that not that I'm saying that you haven't seen it, but those that those of you that have not, if you were to see what I am able to see right now, even on a somewhat hazy day, it's slightly slightly sunny. But it's not really a bright sunny day. Wow. You should see this. this Last is... question for you, buddy. And I appreciate the time, but Nah, take your time. What I'm advice here. could you or suggestion, whatever word you choose to use, for folks that I meet all the time that get misinformation about other countries, including this one, and about who are I call stuck on the fence post. They realize they have to do something but they're afraid to get out of a comfort zone and come down and whatever country it may be. I, I, I know this is my home and I know it well, but I also always am adamant about saying I can name you eight other countries that are great too, for example. What can you tell those people that, that seem to be a little bit timid? I know for you it was no problem because there is a, something tugging at your heartstring. It's, it's different, but what about the people... That, that aren't that way. But, but yes, you are correct. I, 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 it, it might not have been as necessarily as difficult for me, but I was one of those that was on the fem, fence post. I was uh, standing on the sidelines for, for a while, and, and all I can say is that uh, until you move, nothing happens. And when I say move, I don't mean make the move, but actually get up and do something. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. if, you, if, you, if there's no action, there is no reaction of any kind and there's no results of any kind because nothing has occurred. Uh, static, uh, uh, inactive, and, 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 and basically standing still is no, is no way to live because you're basically waiting to die. And, and mm -hmm. um, if you really have any, any, uh, uh, any thoughts of, of, of trying to uh, uh, see if there's anything else better out there. Uh, you know, make your plans, but, but don't just make plans, execute them. Um, mm. I found myself uh, 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 for, for the longest time wanting to come out and, and, and take a look at this, even though I'm Dominican, but I don't necessarily travel to the Dominican Republic as much as, as say, 20, 30 years ago when I, when I was a young man. Um, I, I, the last time I was here was five, six years ago when I met you in person for the first time. So it goes yeah. to show you I don't come back, come out here as often as I would want to. However, I think we switched that this. Trip, I, I do believe so. I, again, however, I, I, I am, I am, I'm saddened by the fact that it took me so long to, to take the step. But however, you know, at the same time, it, it takes preparation. I understand that, but don't take your whole life preparing because. Uh, if you wait, you might wait until it's too late. Uh, uh, make a choice. Make it. It doesn't have to be here. You know, there there are other places. You know, you have Costa Rica. You have uh, uh, I don't know, Chile. Colombia, Chile. You have Argen Argentina, Patagonia. which I hear. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, do something about it. Don't just you know watch and don't do, don't just uh, like Nike says, just do it. Just do it exactly because uh, unfortunately. Though you might uh, stand still, time doesn't. 
and the world waits for no one. Uh, uh, you, if you if you stay uh, still for too long, you will be left behind. And when that door closes, and 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 believe you me, it's going to close. We don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or or two years from now, or even ten years from now. But that door is definitely being prepped for closing, and you don't want to be caught in the inside because. If you if you're stuck on the inside, getting out is going to be hell. Um, yeah. I, I I would imagine it's going to be near, nearly imp impossible getting out because, uh, 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 fortunately or unfortunately, uh, we happen to have probably the most efficient government in the world, in the in North America, and they and they know how to do their stuff and, and they know how to control uh, events and they know how to control f the flow of information and they know how to control people um, and uh, unfortunately you are not uh, as informed as you think you are all of the things that are that are occurring that are not being told you is is it's un unsettling to say the least uh, so do something about it if you if you are worried if you are concerned if you are unsure you don't have to come here you go somewhere else you know we could use good people but we don't need to have them all mm -hmm. we just need those that do come to understand that uh, uh, we are a welcoming people. However, we are not, as we would call it, we are not a pendejo people. We we will not give in to to uh, to uh, uh, to those that want to change us. We will change as we see fit, not as others want to change us. We 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 welcome all those that want to be part of us, but we will not change mm -hmm. for others. Mm -hmm. we, we we change as we as we see fit. That was a good closing point because that's true what I've learned over 22 years of being here. You know, they want to learn about your life in America, but they don't want to be American. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Juan, uh, I really want to thank you, bud, for <laughs> taking the time to Dude, be it, together. It's, it's, been, it's been truly, truly a, a pleasure. This, is, uh, this has been quite an experience and quite an eye-opening experience because I, I, I have expected to really be disappointed. I really, I'll be honest with you. I have, I have expected to be uh, uh, disappointed because uh, it, it is very, it is very difficult to do what you've done here, and what you've done here is 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 is, is an astounding, extraordinary thing that you've actually found the uh, the uh, the means of. of of bringing in people that are not Dominican and just basically meshing and blending in with the rest of us. Now look and at I, the color of my hair, buddy. Look at the <laughs> I know what you mean. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah. And, 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 and by the way, this occurred mostly since my son was born, which is uh, for 14 years ago. Uh, uh, I, used, I used to actually be, uh, be uh, my, my hair used to be black and my beard was actually black and, and, and I actually had a little bit more hair. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it, again, this is... This is truly an amazing thing that you've done here because uh, uh, the, the way the, that the cultures blend, and, and it's not that we're asking anybody to become Dominican. We're not asking you to become Dominican. Don't, don't, don't forsake your heritage, but don't come change ours. There you go. Guys, <laughs> I want to thank you again. And uh, this is Barry for Something Feels Wrong. We'll catch you in the DR. Peace. Bye.